Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Decentraland series. Uh, this is episode 6. So um, last Sunday on the 6th of March at 10pm Singapore time, Bandwagon Asia hosted a live Decentraland concert featuring Forest. Um, so here's a footage of the live concert. Pretty cool, huh? People just hanging around, dancing around, jumping, checking out the scene. Okay, um, let's do a bit of intro on, on Forest. So, Forest is a Singaporean indie band, and this concert is their Metaverse debut. So, you can check out more about them in the article link. Please in the description below. So now we have the avatar by the entrance of the venue. The avatar is greeted with a series of welcome messages. On the wall, there are clickable posters of um, projects, songs by forests, websites, and surveys. So now moving up to the second level, uh, this is the dance floor. We can see that people are waiting for the concert. Some of them are jumping, floating, flying around. Not sure what these two are doing. Uh, yeah, so the main attraction of this venue is of course the live stream of Forest. Uh, but more interestingly, the venue has an, has an element of gamification. The poet machine is floating right above the venue and the attendees must execute a series of parkour actions to reach the poet machine and claim their poems. So now, let's check out the model in SketchUp. From a distance, you might think the model looks like a CD player and yeah, you're right. It is inspired by the CD player of the 90s. The uh, clamshell design is reminiscent of the time and music was not freely available and yet still enjoyed by people regardless. Um, so let's check out the first floor. The first floor, which is the atrium, welcomes the guests into the venue. The two stairs here, left and right here, leads up to the second level, which is the dance floor. The pole in the middle gives attention to the center of the space. And we can also see posters by the wall. So the dance floor is this yellow disc here, accompanied by two mini stages on the side. The dance floor has a hole cut out in the middle, making it possible for anyone to jump down to level 1 immediately. And lastly, um, this grey circle here is the area where the live screen will be projected on. So now let's view this model in our DCL test scene.
So to, to start off, um, let's uh, explore the rotating disc. So the rotating disc is a cylinder shaped object. Um, it, has it has its collider set to false. So this means that the avatar is able to pass through the component. So now let's set the colliders to true and we'll see what happens. So now as you can observe, the avatar is not able to pass through and hit down to level 1. And this is due to the presence of the components colliders. Okay, so next uh, I would like to explore the dance floor. The dance floor has an auto dance setting. Um, when the avatar is positioned at a certain point on the dance floor, um, the avatar chooses a dance. So these moves are robot, tic, tectonic, hammer, hands on, hands air, sorry, disco, dab, clap, and weave. So let's try it out. There you are. Sorry, <laughs> that took a while. Uh, let's try again. This is the clap. Uh, next one. Clap again. I have no idea what <laughs> this move is. Uh, next one. Clap. I think this. I think this is disco. Um, And the wave, yep. Okay, so next, um, I would like to check out, explore the, the screen component. So the screen component uh, requires a live feed URL. So um, I'm going to change it to a working live feed and let's see how it looks like on the scene so the scene is a projection of the live feed from bandwagon asia and is placed slightly above the stage. Um, yeah. This this gives a good vantage point from anywhere on the dance floor. So you might be on the rotating disc, or you might be on the stage, or you could be here, and it's it's still and the screen is still viewable, watchable.
Next, um, the welcome messages. So the welcome messages is defined and controlled by a chain of functions. Each function accepts a callback to itself until a null is found. So the null marks the end of the chain. So let's see how this works in, in a test scene. Message number one, message number two, and the final message. So this is one and two and the final one. And finally, um, Let's explore the moving platforms. So in this scene, there are two moving platforms. The one on the right and the one on the left. So this is the right one and this is the left one. So the last parameter to this um, to this constructor is the is the speed. So the lower the, the number, the faster the movement of the platform. So as you can see now the, the speed is so much faster com comparing this to the one on the left. We can even change the, the start and end position so the platform can start off from this coordinate and ends its, its journey to this coordinate and repeat back to the start coordinate. So this is a pre-recorded video of the live concert. Um, the concert attendees are hanging around, enjoying the music, engaging with each other, and of course, trying miserably to claim the POAP tokens. <laughs> so, um, in conclusion, uh, this project is a fun collaboration between Ben Wagon Asia and myself. We started off the CD design player concept, and after which, we work on the programmable programmable parts such as the moving platforms, the live stream screen, the rotating disk and the web machine. So the collaborative and iterative process of this project was fun and engaging and we explored what's possible and what's not possible. Um, yeah, so from this experience, um, we understood um, how limited a uh, single land parcel is and how we overcame it and um, resolutions to, to, to solve um, the limitations of, of the land parcel. So from here on, um, we will still continue to challenge the limits of the central land and from there, we hope to offer more engaging, enriching and memorable experiences for for attendees of live concerts. I mean, that's what the Metaverse is really about, right? It's about experience and engagement. Mm. So do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, that will really help a lot in in me creating more, con more DCL-related content. So thank you for watching.